If we're going to slow down global warming, scientists say we're actually going to have to take billions of tonnes of CO2 out of the atmosphere. So how do we do it? Plant trees or use machines? Give me two minutes and I'll talk you through it. And let's start with machines. This sci-fi looking plant is working away right now, literally sucking CO2 out of the atmosphere. It's from a Swiss company called Climeworks and it's located in Iceland. The machines use renewable geothermal energy and the CO2 is pumped underground and eventually becomes rock. This new technology is expensive. This demonstration plant costs 10 million euros to build and can capture 4,000 tonnes of CO2 per year. That's 2,500 euros per tonne. Pricey, but it has lots of political and business support and once scaled up, the price could drop to 150 euros a tonne. Lots of environmentalists dislike industrial carbon capture technology and many argue we should just plant trees, natural carbon capture machines. But you really need a lot of them to compensate for our emissions. An average tree contains about a tonne of carbon and the average European emits five to seven tonnes of CO2 per year. So you would need to plant five to seven trees every year from now onwards for the rest of your life to offset your emissions. Do we even have enough land for those trees? Not really. Not if we want to grow food too. In fact, those that promote responsible forestry say planting trees has to be seen as a kind of top-up option once the reduction of emissions has been maximised. Here's Diego Florian from FSC Italia. Quando? When we have exhausted all emission reduction and fixation options, trees are a great ally. So we'll need both trees and machines, but most of all we'll need a reduction in energy demand and a switch to clean power. You can read more environmental news on euronews.com green and let us know your thoughts on social media.